Hoshi, meaning happiness, is coming home from foster care at Bal Sadan. It's been almost a year since she left. A lot has changed since then. Setu has mixed emotions. Happy because her six-year-old is home. Anxious because she knows her homecoming will be unpleasant. When her son Krishna was born, Setu was thrown out of her husband's home. She went to her brother's house. Angry at this imposition, her sister-in-law twisted and broke the newborn baby's leg. Little Krishna will carry his limp and deformity through life. Rejected by her husband, her in-laws and her brother, Setu thought she had nowhere to go. It was then, in her moment of desperation, that God reached out to Setu. God started in a small way in 1985 at Sithabadi in North India. It had a simple vision to transform rural India. Development for God is all about showing people their options, teaching them to transform their own lives. The first step in making Setu self-reliant was to introduce her to the local Mahila Mandal or women's group. Mahila Mandals are the backbone of God's programs. At God's informal legal cell, social workers interface between Setu, the police and a lawyer provided by the National Human Rights Network. With easier access to loans, women start small enterprises on their own and soon a healthy cycle of income generation begins. Encouraging education of girls is big on God's agenda. Traditionally, the girl child is kept at home to care for younger siblings. Self-confidence, knowing their rights, making choices. This is what the Yuvati groups teach adolescent girls. In 21 years, God's influence has spread wide and it is now a national model for rural development. Similar development projects have started in Andhra Pradesh, Tamil Nadu and Forissa. When working with the people, board workers keep one goal in mind. Ultimately, communities must be able to stand on their own feet. They must take the program forward. This is the measure of sustainable development. Setu is now a changed woman. <laughs> Secure in court support, she is full of a new confidence. Women are the heart of our program. Being a pediatrician, I had begun the program with maternal and child health. But when we began working with people, especially women, they raised a number of issues that affect their lives. Treating them was not the issue that they wanted us. They were trying to tell us about their illiteracy, their helplessness, their low self-image in the society, their poverty. These were the issues they wanted us to address. As years go by, my belief that many more people will come out and help, not only because they are helping, but because they are exploring within themselves to a greater fulfillment. And I look out for those people and welcome them. <laughs> Oh, my God.